Hey Capricorn, I hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for November 2021. It is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Capricorn, and it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That's okay, you can check out one of your other signs if this doesn't resonate, or you can check out one of your person's other signs or you can book a personal reading. All right, so for the overall energy here, we have compromise. All right, so there's, somebody's wanting to compromise. That's what's coming in here. Somebody wants to make a compromise, um, possibly for this connection. So let's get into this and see. Maybe it's just that they need to, or somebody needs to, but it's coming in as wanting to. So we also have Mannix's feet in the reading today. But yeah, I think I can work around that. All right, also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, all right, because this reading is general. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of November. All right, let's see, for this situation, okay, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse, crossed by the Ten of Cups. All right, interesting. Um, for you, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Wands. For them, we're going to need more space here. For them, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Coming up for you is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. For them, Death in reverse. And the potential outcome here, we have the Tower in reverse. All right. It's looking pretty interesting. Okay, so Capricorn. Um... For the main energy here, Eight of Swords in reverse, crossed by the Ten of Cups. There was a feeling of either being trapped or of not being trapped, but kind of like no solution, feeling like there was no way out or just overanalyzing, overthinking things. And I feel like that's somebody's coming out of that. All right. And I feel like that's where this compromise is actually coming into play. Um, one of the two of you or the both of you are coming out of that because you're really wanting this Ten of Cups, really wanting to figure something out, find that solution in order to have happiness. Um, for whatever reason, I feel like you are not fully standing in your power just yet. Like there's something here where you're just, we'll see, but I feel like you're not really wanting to give much to this at the moment. I feel like you might actually be looking in a new direction or you know, you might still have a little bit of curiosity towards this or you know, wanting to, but not really, not really giving. All right, in the 3D, not really giving your energy to this, even though you still kind of have a little bit of that desire. Um, for them, this person is putting in effort. So I feel like this person is actually, at the moment, putting in more than you are. Again, roles can be reversed. This is somebody who is really focused on this, wanting to find a solution. It could be that you had wanted to find a solution in the past. Maybe this person wasn't giving then. So it could be that you were the one um, willing to compromise um, in the past. This person wasn't. And now maybe the tables have turned. Because I do also see this person kind of... Um, I feel like they're working very, very, like, laboriously. Like, working hard to the point where it's exhausting them because they just cannot let this go. All right, and even in the near future here, they're not letting this go. Whereas for you, I'm not, I'm not so sure. It feels like you're just kind of... I mean, I don't see you fully walking away, but I feel like you're just not really putting much effort into this, all right? And then we do have the tower in reverse for the potential outcome, so I'm gonna wait and clarify that before I say anything. So let's get into this, let's clarify. So let's see this Eight of Swords with the Ten of Cups.
Alright, and we have the Four of Swords, the Six of Cups in reverse, and then we also have the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in reverse. These two came out together. Okay, so, alright Capricorn, here's what's what I see happening here is you're, it feels like you were feeling stuck in this, feeling stuck in a situation that wasn't bringing happiness because the other person was not compromising or was not giving their share of energy to this in one way or another, all right? Um, so now what's happened is you are pulling out. You're pulling out. You're just at that stage where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to keep trying for this anymore. I don't want to be trapped in this, like being the only one giving. And so I feel like at the moment you're trying to to recover or you're just taking a break, you're just kind of resting, you're not really thinking about a reconciliation. I feel like it is still there though, as I said. Um, but for you, it's like you just don't even want to think about that at the moment. Because again, you know, you've been feeling like you were the one compromising here, you were putting in the effort. And because somebody wasn't like this, um, like the teamwork just wasn't there. There wasn't a compromise from both ends, which kind of led to a deterioration of the connection, at least from your perspective. That's how you're, that's how you're feeling here. And so the challenge is though, like really being able to find that happiness because I don't, I don't think you're very happy at the moment, which is okay, you know, because if you're taking a break, you're seeing this as a disappointment we can't expect to just, you know, be happy right away. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a challenge trying to find happiness within this connection. Because it's like now that they want to give energy, you're, you're already put off by it. Or damaged by it. So let's, let's see. Let's, I actually just want to clarify that page of wands for your energy here. King of Pentacles is very straightforward. Yeah, the star in reverse and justice. Capricorn, you're feeling like like there's no hope for justice to be served now. Like things just cannot be balanced or that things you it's like you're you're stuck in this um mental space of thinking no matter what this person does, it cannot make up for whatever happened in the past. But again, there's, you're still kind of looking at it. You're still kind of looking at this connection though. A little bit. <laughs> and still thinking about, you know, whether you should take a new path. Let's see, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles and the Six of Wands in reverse. I don't know if this person is trying in the right way. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like it for you, though, is what I'm what I'm kind of getting here. Um, Ten of Swords in reverse, just because that the top card almost wanted to flip over. This person is definitely putting in effort. They're definitely focused on this. I do feel like maybe it's it's not enough or it's still very little for you because I don't see them being successful, all right, with the Six of Wands in reverse. They still just don't want to let this go. Ten of Swords in reverse. Let me see the Ten of Wands. Five of Wands, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Ten of... The Ten. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which is actually a, a number ten. Um, I 
they are fighting really hard. I Again, I, I don't feel like they're doing it in exactly the right way, at least in the way that you would want them to. There's something... I feel like they just don't really know how to make a change here or what how exactly to turn the wheel in a new direction. And I feel like, you know, they're kind of losing touch with their own self here. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of... They're feeling like they have to fight to the end and it is it is wearing them out. It is wearing them out, but you know, it is it is what it is and there might be a reason for that. I don't see them giving up though. I don't see this person giving up at all. Uh, let's see what's coming up. Let's see that seven of pentacles in reverse for you. The magician in reverse. <laughs> You're giving up. They're not giving up. I mean, it just can't even be more clear. You're just not even trying to manifest this anymore. Because um, I feel like you did that like a lot in the past. And so it's just, you're just done trying. Again, I don't see you being completely out of the connection. But for now, like you just want to not do anything. You just want to take a break. You just want to be possibly even by yourself or just not really put in any effort. You're just letting them do whatever they're doing and whatever they're trying to do. And I don't know, you're just kind of sitting there, <laughs> just watching. Um, again, and it feels like, you know, th again, it's just not what... I don't know, let, let me just see this stuff in reverse. Because I kind of feel like the effort that they're putting in, it's not really the effort that you would have wanted. Or it's either that or you just feel like it's too late. At least for now, right? Things can always shift in the future. So clarifying death in reverse, um, which is Scorpio energy. I don't know if I've called out the um, signs that have been popping up here. If I didn't, I'm sorry. We also have Libra. We have Aquarius. Of course, could be any sign. Um, we have a whole bunch, actually, when it comes to the suits. So, yeah, could be any sign. So, yeah, clarifying death in reverse. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. So this person isn't letting this go, but they are beginning to lose um, some kind of hope because they feel like you have completely lost your, your passion for them, all right? You're showing up here in their energy as this Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands um, in reverse. So they, think, they feel like you've lost any drive whatsoever. But again, they're not, they're not giving up. They're still there. So let's actually see tower in reverse here for the potential outcome. All right, so they're all in reverse and they are the two of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the two of wands. Honestly, I kind of feel like the, I, I don't see you really giving in. I don't see you giving in. I feel like, you know, you, with the Six of Pentacles now being, being here in reverse, which again is talking to me about giving. It's like something is still, it, it, to you it just doesn't feel balanced. You still don't feel like this person has done enough. And that's why the tower is in reverse. I feel like if the tower was upright, it would be that change, right? That shift, like breaking you down. I feel like in this particular case, you are the tower and you are refusing to budge, basically. You're just not budging. You're, and I'm not judging that, okay? It could be for your highest good to be standing, not budging. So yeah, it's really going to be up to you, right? And things can shift after that. Who knows what this, because I don't see this person giving up. So maybe they will um, break down you as that tower. Maybe not. It's really going to be up to you. 
basically. So yeah, that is it. That's what I got for you, Capricorn. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.